This year, EA introduced Foot Moments. It's a brand new game mode that allows you to play the game and earn their brand new Foot Stars currency. If you guys want some cheap, fast, and reliable Foot Coins, check out MMOEXP. There is a link in the description of the video and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. You can complete a whole host of different challenges to earn these stars, ranging from defending to free kicks, and you can spend them in the Star Gallery. As it currently stands, the most expensive pack you can get is a jump premium gold players pack which will open in this video to show you what it's like all of the rewards are tradable to my knowledge including the ted lasso and coach beard and for zero stars you can claim yourself a loan mbappe which will allow you to complete all of the rise of mbappe stars without spending 1.6 million coins on the card i've actually really enjoyed grinding and getting these stars they're very basic objectives and usually on amateur but it's quite a lot of fun to go and try and gain these stars it's a different type of game mode and it's a nice relaxing break away from div rivals or foot champions or foot draft or whatever you're playing right now some of my favorite moments have been the free kick ones i really enjoyed doing these i don't know why it kind of helps me improve on my free kicks but also, it's just a lot of fun. And if you do miss, you can just pause and completely restart the moment, which realistically, you can do as many times as you want. And if you just want to sit here and practice doing free kicks, you can. It's that easy. Uh, I really enjoy it, though. I just think it's a cool addition to the game. Um, and I've really enjoyed just practicing different points of this game. These outside of the foot free kicks, by the way, are absolutely cracked. I've really enjoyed them. It's so easy to score outside the boot free kicks on this game. And it's not just on this game mode. It's the same in on, uh, online as well in Div Rivals and Ultimate Team. It's so easy to score them. Probably helps that I do have Lionel Messi for them. And as soon as the objective is completed, the game ends. Sometimes it does bug, so don't worry if you get stuck in an objective. But most of the time, when the objective is done, the game ends and you get your free star. And the objectives range in difficulty. They're not really difficult objectives. And they always tell you how to do them as well. So this one you can do with a rainbow flick and scoring a goal. This one you can flick the ball up while jogging and score a goal from a volley um this one you have to score with a, th with a center back passing less than three times i just think it's a lot of fun trying out these different scenarios and scoring a lot of different goals i think it adds a lot of dynamic to the game that we didn't have in previous years and of course you can earn packs by doing it now of course the packs we can currently get aren't great they're not we're in the first week of fifa so i'm not surprised the packs you can currently get aren't amazing um however you can get as as, as far as a jumbo premium gold players pack which isn't terrible and considering the tradable it's actually not bad now these rewards are seasonal so in 37 days we'll get an update on rewards which means we'll get better packs in there i imagine by team of the year we're looking at 100k packs and you can save your stars and spend them on another season if you want to however we are going to open up this pack and see what it's like so we have opened it let's see what we get it's going to be at least a board it's going to be spanish left wing back angelino okay maybe not amazing but We've got a bunch of players now. If you're rocking an RTG account and you don't have a lot of stuff in the club, getting a pack like this could help you out a lot because at the very worst, it's a 10,000 coin discard and there is bound to be players here that are worth a good amount due to SBCs or um, whatever is currently going on in the game that you need these players for. There's bound to be, you know, an extra 5 or 10k in value from these players and who knows, you may even get a walkout. Now, the bit that we've been waiting for, my advice on what I think you should spend your stars on. I think it solely depends on your current scenario in FIFA. If you are desperate for coins, if you don't have coins at all, I would say go and get yourself the pack if you could afford it and if not go and get yourself one of the manager items for four tokens they they sell for about 5k however if you are more of a grinder and you don't mind saving your stars i probably would hold on to them i think it's worth getting the end pack oh no i know it was terrible for me but i think it's worth going for the gamble and going for the end pack then i would save the rest of your stars i have got one star currently but i have got a lot of stars that i could possibly get so we've got 16 to get from there plus another 40 that's 56 um 63 uh plus another 48 to 63 that's what 71 111 uh plus another 24 so we've got 135 stars yet to get and of course we can't spend 135 stars in here right so if you can save your 135 stars and if a jumbo premium gold players pack is 64 stars i would say 100k packs probably around 80 to 90 stars i would guess somewhere around that region maybe a little bit more maybe 100 stars but you can save up your stars and have enough stars to get a solid pack when a good promo comes out which i'm a big fan of alternatively you can just save your stars for a good promo and for example if road to the final is going to be your one or we get another promo after that that you're excited about you can spend, then spend your stars to open packs during that promo too and of course they are tradable um and some of them not aren't only limited to one for example um you can get three gold players packs 
three draft token packs, uh, three rare consumables packs, um, but obviously the manager items are limited to one each and the end packs limited to one each as well. All in all, I think foot, foot moments is a good addition to the game. I don't see a problem with a, a new uh, game mode allowing you to earn packs for free. I'm actually a big fan of it. And although it might seem like it's quite overwhelming seeing a bunch of these different subcategories and then the amount of things you have to do, I went through and did all four of these and also the Mbappe Rise to Glory, uh, eight of the Rise to Glory ones or the Rise to Mbappe ones. I did it in like half an hour. I think you can whack on a YouTube video or a Netflix series or something and get all of these done really easy. Some of them are a little bit tedious, I can't lie, but most of them are actually quite fun and it's a little bit different and it might teach you a thing about the game as well. Although it's on amateur, like there are certain things it might teach you about the game that will help you elevate your game in Division Rivals, for example. And if I can do it with such a difficult to build team, you know, a bronze team like this, this team cost me about 5,000. Uh, we won't talk about which currency, but it cost me about 5,000 of, of something. Um, you know, th this team, uh, you know, it's a bronze team. It we can do the objectives with the bronze team. So, you know, clearly it's good enough to do the objectives. You can do it too at home with your teams. But I thought I'd make a video covering foot moments for you guys and giving you guys some help with foot moments because I know there's been a lot of people asking me, you know, how do I spend my foot moment stars? What should I buy? Should I save them? And in total, I'd say yes. If you are able to, if you are a patient person and you don't need anything right now, I think saving them is the way to go because you can then get something towards the back end, maybe for a, a better promo than wants to watch. Maybe Road to the Final, you get the, the, the end pack. Um, or maybe you just get draft token and you do draft and you get better packs from that if you're a good player um, or you save them for the next season. I think that there are a lot of different options. Um, if you are like me and you're a bit impatient, um, I would say at the bare minimum, wait until Road to the Final. I think Road to the Final this Friday will be a much better promo for expensive players and i think that it'll be easy to pack them as well because once to watch it seem impossible to pack so i would wait until road to the final to spend your tokens at least um and spend them on whichever packs you feel necessary the 81 to 83 rated rare player pick don't see the point in doing it if it's capped at 83 what's the best you can get like usman dembele anthony it's not amazing and i think for 40 tokens unless you just have spare tokens and you have no idea what to spend them on i probably wouldn't bother wasting your tokens on there um but you know you can also get yourself these two and get 10,000 coins with eight tokens because they they actually insta sell for like 5k hopefully this video was helpful to you if you want more videos like this leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't around here thank you all for watching make sure that you guys are putting the comments down below as well how you guys are getting on with fifa and if there are any other content videos you want me to make let me in the comments down below. I'm down to make different videos to help you guys out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.